What's happening, man? Say so. Apparently, um, we got some uh, wild world news going on. Some type of scam on Facebook almost cost somebody thousands. So let's uh, check this out, shall we? By the way, um, I will put the link in the description. For some reason I cannot download this. So yeah, but you will be able to hear it. Cheryl Albrecht says she almost fell victim to a $2,000 scam on Facebook. And I consider myself a, a fairly young, tech-savvy person. It all started when Cheryl, a nutrition director at a senior adult center, received a friend request from an elderly woman she knew. Message back and said, have you heard my good news? <laughs> well, no. The woman claimed to have been awarded money from the federal government. She had seen my name on the winner's list as well and wanted to know if I'd gotten my money. All Cheryl had to do was send a Facebook request to a man she'd never met who would fill her in on how to get the cash. So she did, and the man asked Cheryl for personal information, like where she lived, whether she was married, and then the man asked Cheryl to send him $2,000 in order to claim her prize. So today's Veterans Day, the banks are closed, and he said, well, you've got a Western Union you can go to. And I'm like, I'm not a Western Union you any money. I knew at that point that it was too good to be true. But it didn't stop there. Still hounded me. Literally, do you want your money? Do you want your money? Cheryl learned the original friend request came from a bogus Facebook profile, an imposter claiming to be someone she knew. Then a couple weeks later, Cheryl said it happened again. In conjunction with Facebook lottery program. This time, money being awarded through a Facebook lottery. The man even sent her this certificate as proof. Oh, it is really sketchy, absolutely. The Better Business Bureau suspects the Facebook lottery scam is being used to deliver malware onto computers and to get your personal information. The BBB says warning signs include being messaged out of the blue, being asked to click on links, and demands of confidentiality. A few of the Facebook accounts that have contacted Cheryl have already been deleted or flagged. Cheryl says her close call should be a warning to others. That's my concern was I didn't want any more of my former seniors or my current seniors to being finagled out of their hard-earned money. $2,000 is a lot of money. $2,000 is a lot of money to someone working, let alone someone who doesn't have a lot of reserves. Yo, so this happened to me. First of all, this, this particular scam has never happened to me. Post your comments below let me know if this particular one you know, somebody tried to get you. But another Lord thing Johnson's is, um, career began about 20 years. I, um, I almost got got a few years ago by one of those Nigerian email scams. Around when the internet first, you know, everybody, I, this is back when I was still living in like Beverly, New Jersey. So, I get this email. And you know how it is with the Nigerian ones. It's always like some rich prince or somebody that um, wants to transfer money to you. For some reason, I forgot how they, they word the email. And they need you. They need someone in America to, you know, and this is, you know, right now you're like, yeah, right, bullshit. But back then, a lot of people were falling for that shit. So I remember... They wanted a little bit of my info. They wanted my phone number so they could call me and give me the details. And uh, then they would add, ask for a few things later. So he had asked for like my phone number, my address, my social, my bank account or something like that. And all I gave was my phone number. So I was like, wait a minute. So then he had called me and he had the authentic accent and everything. You know, this is what the blah, 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 blah. From Nigeria, I'm going to get the extra info so that I can wire the money to you so you can take care of the $3.4 million that the prince of Nigeria will need when he gets, you know what I mean? Like, he did this whole thing, and I was like, I don't believe it. And he called a couple more times and left me messages talking about, you know, how he needed my social and my bank account info, and I was like, nah. I don't even believe it. And I remember ye later, years later, I remember uh, seeing an article about all those Nigerian scams and how few people got got. You know, because I mean, shit. The world, the money wakes the world go down and, you know, people get desperate and they think, oh, oh, you know, this is new because 
the internet allows us to do things we couldn't do before and yeah it's my lucky day no it ain't your lucky day to get fucking robbed so don't fall for none of this bullshit then these authentic certificates or sign in, you know, sometimes they ask you to sign in again with these fake, uh, it'll look just like Facebook, but something doesn't look right about it. That's how you know. Don't sign into it. Don't give your credentials, all those other things. So anyway, don't with this wild world news. Don't fall for it. One million subscribers. Woo!